Hello YouTube, my name is Hero and uh <laughs> Welp we got some good news and we got some bad news. The good news is a lot of the features that they announced um, a few days ago actually just got released today. So that's actually pretty cool that a lot of the things that they announced got released so quickly. The bad news is, well, 99% of those things are pretty stupidly useless. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it really sucks. But we're gonna start out with the Musa buff rework now i'm sorry that i got hyped when they said rework rework is the first time uh that was the first time they ever used the word rework i never heard them say rework for any class ever so i thought this was going to be a big change for musa but in fact it, it 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 really wasn't uh so what they ended up doing was pretty much increasing the aoe range and the damage of some of his skills taking cooldown off some of his skills but at the end of the day he's still a musa at the end of the day he still has the same issues at the end of the day he still has problems that are not fixed he's still uh, not good enough for most players to be able to do anything of course if you're a fucking 250 ap musa with an accuracy offhand you're going to be able to make things happen but for the most part for the average player musa is still in the same spot it's unfortunate but from what i can see it's the same shit maybe um maybe maybe there's more to it that i'm not seeing it's possible but for right now i'm gonna say chill out on the musa hype they still got a lot of work to do in, in regards to that if they're gonna continue updating him they seem to be so scared to give musa a big buff uh, they, they they this this was not enough uh and from what i can see this was not enough so the next thing that actually dropped or that you guys should know about is that uh, mystic got nerfed quite a bit mystic had an ability where she used her ultimate and it just suctioned a lot of players in just like a valco basically they couldn't move and uh they kind of just they kind of toned that down a little bit so that um uh, that kind of that kind of sucks for her she also lost a lot of her evasion a lot of her evasion and um yeah mystic got nerfed before she even came out over here so that's whatever <laughs> all right moving on um the guild battle system that they had and pl plan to implement in terms of making sieges a lot less zergy got implemented but it seems like that's even dumb too i'm not sure how that's gonna work basically what happens is um you get to apply for a 20 uh, a 20 v 20 battle and the winning team's 20 v 20 battle uh gets a buff for the remaining war i suppose it's really the details are kind of sketchy on this but the, the reason why i say it's not that good like musa buff is because um it seems to be optional which means that the stronger guild that has the bigger numbers and the more players that are stronger is going to just simply decline this which kind of defeats the purpose don't you think uh, i don't really see the point in this anymore I, I was afraid something like that would happen i thought it would be mandatory maybe it still is but from what i can see it's definitely not so i'm not sure how this is going to work and even for the one versus one battle thing it teleports the people away the 1v1 people away to the arena I'm, I'm i'm guessing people can spectate i don't know this is so weird the way they set this up like the way it sounded before this is what I, I just don't get it i don't understand how this is supposed to be practical how this is supposed to become a thing in sieges if you guys do please let me know i really don't understand it maybe i have to see it in game to really get the gist of it but from what i'm reading here and from what they said when i first heard it it sounds like two completely different things that one is just a lot more complicated and i'm sure people are just gonna straight up avoid it and continue doing what they've been doing this whole time so yeah another disappointing part of the update and another disappointing part of the update is the character swap system which i didn't think was going to come out so soon actually did get added 
but it's also very disappointing. So to start it off, you cannot switch in No War and Conquest War. Something I had an idea would be the case, but you just, you can't do it, so that's out. But the thing is, um, you can only switch when you're in a village or except for Kusha and those kind of villages, you can only switch when you're in a village. So, so what's the point then? You could just swap characters. What's the point? You could just press character select. Why? Why would? Why would it only be in villages? That completely defeats the purpose of adding it at all. I can see if it was in. If it's not in conquest and notes, I completely understand that because that's kind of OP. But you can't even do it in a fucking when you're grinding, bro. When you're grinding mobs, you can't swap care. Why not? I don't, I just don't get it. And not only that, but the characters share an, a V button, an emergency escape. You can't switch in the ocean or the desert. Like, what, what? The cooldown is four minutes only, but I mean, what's that? So, so basically they just added a character swap cooldown. So why even go, why even do it? It was such a cool idea and they just completely, erased it <laughs> what's the point and what, what what's the point of doing it i don't understand what reason would you have to use this button at all now i'm sorry for hyping this stuff up guys i don't know why i get excited about black desert ideas anymore the only thing that hasn't been completely destroyed that they announced was the new region but we'll see about that <laughs> uh guys i I'm, I'm very disappointed i'm very disappointed by today's um patch in korea i'm sorry once again for hyping it up that's my mistake won't do that again it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace